Hello, I'm Nate Meister, and I'm from Scott Catholic High School. And this is Possibilities. As the practice of addressing people based on race, class, and nationality comes nearer in the rear view mirror of my slightly sheltered Midwestern mind that would probably still murmur Ope on the first Martian colony, I find it fitting to consider what other people see me as, destined by privilege and society's image to be a rich white guy, bank account and cultural ignorance sky high. I want to doubt this and hope this doesn't encapsulate my adult life. But what if it does, I asked, and my mind soared, or rather tumbled through a terrifyingly turbulent tailwind. Would I live my college career building years obsessing over financial models, if I understand them? I'd be getting higher education and probably resort to higher education just to try to relax. I'd be getting buyer education, properties, commodities, portfolio, oh my god, what if you go bankrupt? Go manic in search of Ben? Dream of the monetary fortune Bernie Madoff made off with? Go from 18 to 25, never escaping the cycle of the eans. Caffeine, ticker screen, and nicotine. It's sounding like such a drag. Keeping me focused on my shift, but, shift, but shifting my sleep cycle to the point where I'm popping ambient pills like Elon gone wrong. Just to get a 20 minute break in, the burnout might have me faking illness just to get a glimpse of calm, content stillness. Early office mornings filled with non-stop non cubicle war warring still sound so boring. With fiat money in my eyes and B.I.G. in my ears, success further drags me into a mire ironically only describable with a hip-hop lyric. More money, more problems. I don't want this or need this. I don't want to dream of the wonders of the world from inside of a 6 by 6 cubicle or even a 10 by 10 because no matter the office size, I can't keep my zen. While the torches around me seem to be burning holes in other, pe in other people's pockets, I want the torch I hand others to illuminate, to illuminate words on pages and stories and wisdom from the sages of simpler, happier, earlier ages before life in the merciless mercantile style became the norm. I found great adventure making my ancestral identity label and identity libel. The eternity of adventure is heaven compared to life on a hamster wheel, and adventure is all I'm here for. Instead of spending a day in an office building, I'd like to spend mm, maybe an hour making just enough money for food, water, and a roof over my head, and a pencil. I'd spend the rest of the day biking around town with my eyes wide open, walking dogs, playing catch, and in the winter skiing down mountainsides, eyes, ears, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, all, help, all helping me have fun just like a kid. What if we all did? If only we all could.